So today I'm going to do something very different. I'm going to do something that I have no idea what's going to happen. I'm going to go sub surfing in a dry suit. Whoa! Is it possible? We all wear wetsuits. I have done all my life of surfing. Is it possible? Should we look at dry suits? Is it something that you own a dry suit? You can go sub surfing and do it as well with that dry suit. Then it's a multi, obviously you can use it for multi uses. Now I've been using dry suits a fair amount with the wing foiling and stuff on flat water and the estuaries and they've been great, absolutely fine, loads of movement. But do they work in the surf environment? Right, as far as boards wise, I'm not sure what to take at the moment. I think um, uh, it's either double on board or infinity D line. A bit too, the mix is probably a bit too. I think I might go starboard, longboard, because it's a bit of a slacker wave, but it's still a bit size to it. Let's take that out. And I'll take a couple of leashes down because I don't want to snap a leash. Now, this is funny. I, I usually get changed at the top of the um, cliffs. We surf with a lot of cliffs around where we surf at Surfboarder, but um, I usually get changed at the top of the cliff, but I've got my dry suit in my backpack because I think if the locals see me, not really sure the reaction will be so i know it's the wrong thing to say but you know that's what they'll, they'll be looking what the hell are you doing um so i'm gonna sneak and get changed down the bottom the funny thing is i'm wearing the clothes pretty much apart from this jacket that i'm gonna wear under the dry suit um even the socks because there's like built-in one socks and this palm dry suit so this is gonna be uh, i'm really looking forward to this it's pretty good size though obviously the gopro looks quite small but it's still Bit of chop, I'm glad I got the longboard. This dry suit is like a full on palm dry suit. It's like a top of the range, it's really thick material, quite impressively. I have taken this winging and it's, it is, it's, well, I haven't had any water in it all yet, but it's got these built in little socky things, which means your feet are completely dry, but I've got them wet to do. So that's why I'm leaving my socks on. It's got a, a pee flap. Look at that! So I must remember, don't pee in your dry suit. That would be a disaster. I've got this palm like thermal air, which is designed to go underneath a dry suit. They do make like an all-in-one, like a teddy bear suit, like a one, the onesie, like this. I thought that bit might be a bit much, especially if somebody walked around the corner. I've got to let myself break myself into gently doing this. It's really quite windy today. But session to session. This dry suit's got like latex cuffs, so they really seal around. Okay, so I am gonna go out and just have a roll around in the uh, in the shallows, just to make sure you know all the air is out, and I do float the right way up and all that sort of stuff. So. Just a little bit of safety. So do all that, and then I'll go out and catch some waves, make sure my P-zip's done up. <laughs> That'll be a disaster. And um, Lucy might come at the top of the cliff and shoot down and do some shots as well. Oh, it's so cold. Okay, the air's fully out of this dry suit now. Feels like, I feel like I'm sucked, squashed.
so cold. Well, I just took about six on the head then. Dry suit's fine. You do have a bit more buoyancy, but you get used to it. Definitely doesn't want to flip me and put me on my back or anything. Obviously, this is sort of the extreme cases you're going to be using it. But let's get some more waves. <laughs> session and I stood in the puddle. So then my socks off and my socks are wet now. Hey, nice one. Well done. <laughs> so there's the uh, the latex cuffs you can see. And the little sockies it comes in. Obviously I think a dry suit you just gotta be more careful with what you do with it. You don't want to be as in standing on it, you don't want to be standing on rocks and nicking it and stuff. There's a rain squall coming. I've got to get the hell out of here. I haven't got a raincoat. I should have left my dry suit on. <laughs> this is so ironic. I just got changed and it's going to absolutely chuck it down and I'm going to get soaked on my way back up. Ah. Wet. Classic. Moral of the story is don't take your dry suit off until you're at location where you can stay dry. <laughs> so pros and cons to the dry suit. I was pretty impressed. Movement, restrictive movement, absolutely none. Didn't feel like you well, feels like you're wearing clothes. The only thing I did notice is that when I'm sitting down on my board, which I do, you know, a fair amount. Obviously, if your legs, the dry suits for your legs aren't really meant to do the splits because not much, um, there's not much give there. So I noticed that. As far as getting tumbled around in the waves, 
It feels a little bit strange because the dry suit's fixed, you know, pulling in close to your body because it compresses with the, um, the water around it. But once you've, obviously you get all the air out of it first, that's a really, really important one. I got all the air out of it. Definitely give you a bit more buoyancy than a wetsuit, even though, you know, wetsuits do actually give you a bit of buoyancy, but it gives you a little bit more, but you, so you float a little bit higher. Didn't feel uncomfortable, didn't feel at risk, didn't feel like I was gonna turn over or anything. I did try and turn over, or several times I went in and actually fully nailed myself in head first and I didn't flip over or anything. Came up with my head the right way up the whole time. So that felt fine. I think generally, would I go, would I surf with it again? Absolutely, definitely would. If it's really, really cold, wind chill, if it's really cold wind, that dry suit is super. You obviously get no wind chill, especially if you've got a nice thermal layer underneath you. Would I advise people go out surfing in their dry suits? I think if you've got one and you wanna go surfing and try it and it's a small day, definitely go for it. Use your dry suit, go out in the surf. But I wouldn't probably recommend people who are not so experienced in surfing going out in dry suits first time in bigger swells. Definitely try it, try smaller swells, see how you go knee high, waist high, get the air out first. Definitely it's gotta be a good quality dry suit like those palm ones, ones that actually really keep you dry. I have no water in around my neck, around my arms or my legs. Um, so I'm completely dry. If you do start to get water into your dry suit and you get more and more and more and more and more, then obviously it's not a dry suit, but then you have, have water in your dry suit, which then can weigh you down and then it, it's not a very good thing. So make sure it's a good dry suit. And um, yes, I would take it out surfing again, um, definitely on the cold, cold days. I think I'd have to just get used to surfing with other surfers because they probably look at me and go, what are you wearing? You must be a total kook. But that might change in time. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on another Supboarder video. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Check out supboardermag.com. And of course, check out Supboarder Pro. See you next time. Ciao.